Hey, hi friends, it's Chris um, at my girlfriend's quilt shop. I wanted to put together a quick little video because I've had several of you reach out and say, how do I add a zipper to the back of a flanged pillow? And so um, this came as a question right after I did the October 31st Bench Buddy from Kimberbell Designs. And so I've already finished that pillow. So I didn't have a new one to, to actually show you example of. So I just took some scrap fabric that I had in my stash uh, to mimic the same size as the pillow that we did for the Halloween pillow. And this is, uh, let's see, my center ends up being eight and a half inches cut. So it ends up being eight. Then you cut a one and a half inch strip uh, for each of the four sides, all right? And so this is what ends up being the front. This you're gonna put aside, but then it's time to add the backing. Now, what the, the normal directions are is that they will have you put in um, like a, oh, let's see, what was it? They, they had you cut two pieces that were seven inches by 10 and a half, and it's because there was an overlap because it was an envelope style pillow. Well, if you're gonna be putting in a zipper, you don't need as much overlap, right? And so instead what I did here was I decided that if this ends up being uh, 10 inches finished, right? Then I'm going to actually, if I were to divide the, the 10 inches, that would give me five inches. And I would do, you know, like five, five and a half inches. Uh, you can always go a little bit bigger and then cut off if you want to. Um, so let's say five and a half inches, for example, I would do one. And then on the second one, I would also add in a couple of inches so that I can then do an overlap. This is what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna create a flap over top of the zipper so that you don't even see the zipper at all. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you don't wanna worry about that, you can just cut it to be five and a half and five and a half and you're going to just sew on the zipper uh, as usual. However, um, I'm gonna show you how to do the flange technique without adding an extra strip. We're simply gonna use the piece that we have. I cut it a little bit bigger, so I cut it at seven and a half inches, and I'm gonna bring it up and over, all right? So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna take the zipper and make sure it is right side up, and I'll place um, the first piece um, that is smaller, and let's see, we're gonna put it right here. Sometimes I have to audition it to remind myself, right? And we're gonna make sure that this zipper is centered. So it's okay for it to come off the top, um, off the side, off this side, and off this side. And I'm going to stitch along here and then flip it out, flip it open right there, okay? And then I'll do a top stitch and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so you can see I'm at the sewing machine and I have the smaller piece that is lined up, the raw edges are lined up, I have replaced it with my zipper foot and my zipper foot is on the left hand bar. All right, there's two bars there. I'll go ahead and reposition this a little bit. There we go. And I wanna make sure that the edge of the zipper foot is just riding along the teeth of the zipper. All right, so with that being in place, I'll go ahead and stitch the zipper down. Okay, perfect and go ahead and cut my threads. Okay, and then I can fold this out and I can give it a nice finger press or take it to the iron and press it. But I'll go ahead and just finger press it for now and I'm going to come back and around, do it on this side again, and this time I'm just gonna do a, a nice little top stitch all the way down. You know, the, the zipper's gonna be covered, it's not that big of a deal to not have a top stitch, but just out of habit, I always like to top stitch my zippers. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll just ride along here. And there we go. All right, 
cut my threads. Okay, I'm ready to take my larger piece now and I need to get it on this other side. So what I'll do is I'm just going to, let's see, get myself situated here. I will now place this over top so that my edges are aligned again and I'll come from this side. Now remember you've got to go over top here because we've got to bring it over this way, right? So that is the correct placement. I'll go ahead and put my foot down and let's see, line this up along here. we go okay so this time it's just a little bit different because I would normally then what you know if the the way we normally would do this is we would now go back and do a top stitch all the way down and if you wanted to stop right there you certainly could all right that would not be a problem at all you could do a top stitch down put this make sure it's trimmed up to be ten and a half by ten and a half so that it matches your front and you would be good to go um, i don't want you to worry about the flange okay sometimes we let the flange get in the way of uh, thinking that we might be doing something wrong when we're not uh, the only thing you have to remember is that we've got to open up our zipper beyond where the flange is going to be and if the flange is an inch and a half in then we want to make sure that zipper is not going to get caught there so if you're just stopping right here and this is how you're going to put in the flange then make sure open up the zipper and let's just kind of you know bring these together you could place a little pin in there if you wanted to um, just to hold it together and then when um, you go to to do the flange you're actually stitching an inch and a half in from it and yes your zipper will actually end up being part of the flange and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that all right so that's where i think sometimes we get caught up in going wait but wait a minute what why is the zipper part of the flange there it's perfectly okay for it to be part of the flange remember it's the back you're not going to see it um, anyway all right so that's how you are going to do it if you are just installing the zipper as it is now let's say let's take this one step further we've decided that we want to cover this all right i've talked about this before on some three at three videos that i've done recently where i talk about covering the zipper and usually i do it with another piece of fabric however there's an alternate way of doing this and that's why we made this piece a little bit larger and that is you're going to take um, this top piece that is a little bit larger and just kind of fold up on it and ta-da look at that we've created our own covered zipper all right that was so simple right all right once again let me try it um, one more time so everyone can get this I'm just grabbing it just pinching it up and bringing it up and over so it's about you know if our zipper is about one inch wide that's why we add on a couple of inches at the top right so again pinch fold up and over I would give this a nice press with my um, machine or with my machine with my iron I should say and I'm just gonna finger press it for now and then I would place just a couple of pins in here just to hold it. And I'm placing these pins at the fold, all right? Because I don't want it anywhere near where I'm gonna be doing some top stitching. There we go. So I have them placed at the fold. I'm gonna flip this over. And now I'm going to do another stitch. And let me make sure where I'm at, yep. I wanna make sure and have um, a stitch that goes just right along this outside edge of the zipper okay just to hold everything in place it holds the flap in place and so I'm just going to come right over here and place my foot down 
and I'm basically using the same stitch line as I did before. That's, that's a great way to go so that you know you're in the right place. So go as close as you can or right on if you're able to, right? Sometimes we've got to get the little zipper pull out of the way. There we go. And I can just ride this along. Perfect. Okay, I'll go ahead and, whoops, cut my threads actually. There we go. All right. And there we have it. As I undo this, you can see that there's a flap. How cool is that, right? And now my zipper has been covered. So either way um, is gonna work just fine. All right, so I just finished at the sewing machine. I actually went back, I took out my black stitches because I didn't like the look of them. Do you guys ever feel that way when you see something that just stands out like a sore thumb? I decided to go back and do uh, more of a cream thread color. But it gives a very nice look and feel to this finished seam. And again, peekaboo, there's the zipper. But again, don't forget to open it up. All right, so it's gonna be right there. And then I have my front piece. So this ends up being 10 and a half. This ends up being 10 and a half. I can go ahead and trim it right now on both edges if I wanted to, or I can simply just place this over top, place a few pins in it, sew all the way around, and then trim off my edges. When you're done trimming around the outside uh, to make sure the excess zipper pieces are off, then go ahead and clip your corners. Let's see, Doo -doo -doo. there we go. I always like to clip my corners in three spots. I go across and then at each side. then it's time to um, pull it out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up that zipper a little bit more. There we go. And here we have it. We are almost done, but we've got to make sure that that flange sticks out. So let me get all the corners out and then I'll tell you where to go from there. All right, so once it's all uh, turned right side out, you're gonna wanna make sure and give it a really good press with some steam. Make sure all of your seams are out. Um, so you don't even notice that there's a zipper behind there, but there is. And so what we're gonna do is now we're just gonna top stitch and well, basically stitch in the ditch, I should say all the way between your border piece and your inside piece. And that's what's gonna create the flange. So we're gonna do that all the way around the outside and then our pillow will be just about done. All right, here's my pillow form and I'm ready to go ahead and stuff this. So I'll just undo the zipper and plop that baby in there. I'll be done. Now there's lots of ways to do something like this. You know, um, if you ask 10 different people how this is done, you're gonna get 10 different answers, right? Um, so there's no absolute one way to do anything. So you got to find the method that works best for you. And this is just the method that I have found to be the easiest for me. So I hope this little tutorial was helpful to you. I'm going to go ahead and zip this up now. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. There we go. The zipper is hidden. All right. And so there's the back. And here's the front. Ta-da! Pretty cool.